Today, we take you to a workshop in Taipei that teaches people how to make Turkish mosaic lamps. The lessons are taught by experienced instructors so that in just around two hours, you can learn how to make a lamp of your own. And it's not just crafting. While there, you can also learn about Turkish culture by trying traditional delicacies. FTV reporter Stephanie Yang takes us in for a look. As soon as you enter the classroom, you can see all kinds of Turkish lamps. There are camping lamps, candle holders, mosaic lamps, and oil lamps, among others. Symbolizes? Yeah, like the square symbolizes four main directions. The workshop provides different glass tiles and beads in 12 colors. The glass tiles have different shapes, like squares, triangles, and diamonds. And each shape symbolizes something different. Our first shape is the square. Square is, indicates the four main directions, uh, east, west, north, and south. And our second shape is the triangle, which indicates an individual person's uh, past, future, and present. And the diamond, which is contains two triangles, indicates union, two persons' union, so union or family union. Heart. The heart, big yes, heart. Big heart. Okay, which color? Um, red. All red? Red and pink. Participants in the workshop pick their own designs, tiles, and beads. Using these items, they learn how to make traditional Turkish mosaic lamps and learn their history from experienced Turkish and Taiwanese instructors. Uh, 1453, they adopted this art and used in the public areas such as inns or mosques uh, or bazaars and let it spread around uh, the, their territory. Uh, and this has also helped people to understand this art deeply because before that, Prior that time, like it was for only the rich people who has money, but when it comes to the Ottoman Empire, they take this art and publicize it. Besides making Turkish mosaic lamps, you can also enjoy some Turkish tea and desserts. During each session, the instructors bring out Turkish tea and delicious handmade goods like Turkish rice pudding. There is also Turkish music playing in the background. The reason is to promote. Uh, Turkish culture, culture uh, via art and create a environment for other people to socialize and learn about Turkish culture. So as for the variations of this workshop in Turkey we have like a different one and but it's not common it's rarely seen so in our workshop, you don't need to cut your own tiles, right? But in that workshop, it takes like one to two, two days, or maybe three days, and you need to cut your own tiles. And it's a kind of hard and harsh process. So we just change that process and we like provide students for <clears throat> already mm, shaped products, I mean like shaped tiles to do their uh, work. After the 7.8 magnitude earthquake in Turkey and Syria, the store has also launched an initiative to help those affected by the earthquake. They gather donations and distribute them to the Taiwan Turkey Business Council, which then sends the donations to people in Turkey. Taiwan, whether individually or as a government, they helped a lot in Turkey. They send a rescue team. They like send them money and that's what people do in Taiwan and we are very grateful to them. As a store uh, we don't f fundraise, we just some kind of little incentives and also we help the people who can connect to the authorities in Turkey uh, to connect them together. Like, for example, some students uh, give some amount of money to just to, to send for the Turkey. And, or some 
people bring some clothes, clothing or other necessities and we take them and give it to the Turkish Business Council, the Turkish Taipei Business Council in Taiwan and they help us to send the Turkey and give them the people who in need. The studio is Taiwan's first shop teaching people how to make Turkish mosaic lamps. There are also branches in Canada, Hong Kong and the Netherlands. The store hopes that more people can learn about the beauty of Turkish culture through its workshops. FTV reporter Stephanie Yang and Tai Chen Han in Taipei.